สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I am making a dessert that I used to be obsessed with as a kid. It's something called Tau Huay Fruit Salad. So Tau Huay refers to various types of milky jelly desserts, and fruit salad is. Fruit salad. So in this recipe, my tau huay is going to be an almond-flavored milk jelly, and I used to think that this was a Thai dessert, but turns out that the Chinese people have it too. They have this also in Hawaii, and it's often referred to as almond float in English. It's easy and absolutely delicious. So let's get started. Let's make the tau huay first. So the gelling agent I'm using is agar agar, which is the most common type in Thailand, and I've used this many, many times on the show. You can get this at Asian grocery stores. Japanese grocery stores will sell it under the name kanten. Health food stores will sell it also as a vegetarian substitute for gelatin, and you can get it online. So lots of options here. I'll put the link for the online purchase in the description below. And then all I'm going to do for this is I've got a pot of cold water here. I'm going to sprinkle my agar powder. And for this recipe, I'm using powder. So if you're using flakes or any other forms of agar agar, the measurements will not be the same. Just Google up some some sort of conversions. I'm going to stir that so that all there are no lumps or clumps anywhere, and then turn on the heat. Ooh, this stove always surprises me how hot it gets. Now I'm going to bring this to a full boil because the agar really needs a full boil in order to completely dissolve. Make sure you stir it. Because otherwise, it'll settle to the bottom. All right, so it's come to a full boil. Careful, it can boil over pretty quickly, and it's completely dissolved. I'm now going to add some sugar, and you can add more or less sugar than me. Doesn't really matter. Adjust it to your taste. So when I was little, we used to make this only from a pre-mixed package, and for a long time, I thought that, that was the only way you could make this. Until, of course, as a grown-up, I realized, wait a minute, that package doesn't really save me that much time because it's super easy to make. The sugar is dissolved now. I'm gonna add my milk. So for this, I'm just using regular two percent milk. You can use almond milk or soy milk or any kind of white milky substance that you would like to use for this. So if you think this dessert is gonna last you a while, bring the milk to a boil so it will last longer. But if you're gonna eat in a few days, we're pretty much done. So I'm gonna turn mine off and add my flavoring. So I've got some almond extract here, which you can just get at any grocery store. You don't have to do almond if you don't like almond in Thailand. You can get also a jasmine flavored one. Smells so good. I'm not a fan of almond-flavored things in general, but this is one exception. I don't know what it is about this dessert. <laughs> so I've got a silicone cake mold here, and if you remember from my previous agar episode, I've always had trouble getting the agar jelly out. Well, the trouble is no more if you get a silicone mold like I did here. Ah. Perfect. And that's it. How much easier would a pre-mixed package be, right? Not much. So this is now going to chill, and you want this to chill completely before serving. You want it nice and cold for maximum refreshingness. So now I'm going to make the fruit salad, which is more like a fruit compote, really. So back in the day when I was a kid, we used to just open a can of fruit cocktail and pour it over the jelly, and that would be the end of it. But I'm all grown up now, so I'm going to make something a little sophisticated here. I've got some water here. I'm just going to turn it on. And I'm making a simple syrup. I'm making this mildly sweet. Here's another benefit of making your own: you can make this as sweet or as not sweet as you like. Now, while that's heating up, let's look at the fruit. So I've got my fruit separated into two bowls here, and for a good reason. So this orange one here are the fruits that can actually go into the hot syrup without disintegrating, and I want to do that so that it has time to infuse its flavors into the syrup. I've got here some pineapple, some mandarin slices, some peaches, and then some mango that was frozen. So in this bowl, I got my strawberries and my grapes, and I want to leave this until the syrup has cooled before I add them, because otherwise the strawberries will go mushy really quickly, and the grapes will turn from green to not green very quickly as well. I don't need to bring this to a boil. I just need it hot enough so that the sugar is dissolved. I'm turning that off, and all of my sturdier fruits go in without splashing hot syrup all over myself. Now let that sit, infuse, and cool. And once it's cool to room temperature, we'll add our delicate fruits. All right, my tau huay is now nice and cold. I just pulled it from the fridge. I'm gonna flip this whole thing out. Hup. Ooh, this is always the most nerve-wracking part. But theoretically, this being silicone, it should come off. Whoop, very easily. I just heard it go. 
Ta-da! Look at that! Perfect cube. I love cubed foods. There's something about foods that are perfect squares that just get me so excited. I'm gonna cut these up into more perfect cubes. So I'm gonna use a ruler to make sure that I don't mess that up. There's my beautiful fruit salad. Look at that. And it's actually had a lot of time to chill in the fridge so it's nice and cold. And also you want to give some time for the strawberries and the grapes that went in after to infuse their flavors a little bit into the syrup as well. Put some cubes into my bowl here. Please excuse my hands, they are clean. Ooh, look at that. You get all the different kinds of fruits in there. That already looks refreshing. You don't even have to eat it. My goodness. Ideally, you wanna use one of these Thai spoons because it holds a lot of liquid and it's so thin that you can cut right through your jelly. Oh, this looks so good. Difficult part is deciding which fruits you want for this particular bite. Make sure you get some syrup in there. Oh, it's so, so refreshing and bright and fruity and the smell of the strawberries. The strawberries are so important in this. It really does sort of perfume the whole compote in a more sort of summery way. The jelly, it's just soft enough that you, once you press down on it, it just kind of falls apart in your mouth. The almond flavor mixes in with the fruitiness nice and cold I'm telling you like you just don't know how good this is until you try it it's one of the easiest easiest desserts you can put together so I hope you give it a try the recipe as always would be on hotthaikitchen.com when you make it send me a photo I really want to see it it's a pretty one on Facebook Twitter or Instagram if you haven't subscribed to the show make sure you do so you don't miss an episode and when you do make sure you click that little bell icon so you get a notification when I post a new video and if you love the show and you want to support us check out our patreon link in the description below and i will see you next time for your next delicious time meal